Hello guys, uh, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Um, this is my first video. So today we're gonna cover the basics of Apache Storm. Uh, so uh, you must be aware of this uh, fact that uh, like uh, Apache Hadoop is go-to framework when the when the there is a bad processing, right? But uh, it's not al always a like right option uh, when there is a there is a, a concept of time constraint, right? When you're looking for result in no time, then Hadoop is not a good choice, right? So for that kind of scenario, like we have one framework, the, the name is Apache Storm. Let's unbox it. So the first question maybe uh, which may be burning in your mind that uh, if we have Apache Hadoop with us, then why there's a need of Apache Storm, right? Because Hadoop uh, like uh, consists of uh, parallel computation and distributed uh, computation. So why there's a need of Apache Storm? So like uh, you can see in the front of your screen now that there is a there is a like a reason for it because there is exponential growth in the data being generated today like uh, yeah, with the likes of social media and uh, some sensors data is gonna generate it, like a lot of like it is it's, it is uh, growing exponentially right so like the companies are facing the challenge that how to uh, get insights out of it because uh, like for them the raw data means nothing right they are looking for the the, the results the insights that's the reason that uh, they, they, they they want some special product which can meets their demands. So that's the reason like uh, we, are, we are studying the Apache Storm today. Okay. So like like I have already have mentioned uh, like earlier that uh, if you are if you are uh, working with a batch processing then Hadoop is go to framework because there is no time constraint right. But there is a there is a bigger void that uh, if one one is looking for the frameworks. Uh, for the streaming purpose, there's a bigger void. So to uh, like uh, fill that void, we have Apache Storm with us. So, because uh, in today's era, like um, we are not only re relying on the batch processing, okay. So we are also like looking for those kind of applications, uh, like which which uh, in which we want the result in no time. So these applications now are becoming integral part of the businesses. So like uh, they can't survive without these kind of applications. Examples are like uh, in front of your screen now, like uh, monitoring social media, like because like uh, today, uh, like we all express our opinions uh, like on social media, right? So like the company uh, like can monitor your social media comments or like some other things just to develop their product or just to modify the product accordingly, right? They want to know that whether you're liking or disliking their product. Right, or which we may be predicting the output outcome of the any election, like based upon the sentiments, because sentiment analysis is one of the bigger search area in today's world. Right, this is one of the application like why we need a Apache Storm. So, like um, Apache Storm, like as I've already said, it is an open source framework from Apache Foundation. Like it is the like um, one of the like uh, popular choice for the industry leaders. Like uh, if they want to develop uh, some applications which are real time distributed and data processing right so it is the uh, real time processing like what's hadoop is to batch processing like if if you have a batch processing requirement go with hadoop otherwise go with storm if you're looking for the real time processing right so, so there are some of the use cases of apache storm like um, the, as uh, i've already mentioned it is meant for the stream processing in addition to stream processing uh, it is also like um, there for you for the continuous computation because it can continuous uh, co compute the tuples tuple, tuple is the basic data uh, like we can say data, data basic data structure that we follow in apache storm which will be discussed later on so in, in addition to it uh, we also have our real time analytics so these are some of the use cases where we can apply apache storm right uh, because this is our first video so i'm like uh, just going uh, uh, not in that depth of everything uh, like in a, in a upcoming videos we'll be discussing all the things in more detail right because it is an introductory lecture so I don't want to like um, go in deep in a, in a when very first lecture right I hope it is clear okay the last uh, point is like what are different features like what makes it so powerful like first obviously like it is fast that's why the name itself suggests this in Apache Strom its tagline is it's lightning fast so it is obviously it's a fast framework uh, second thing is it's horizontally scalable like scalability you all know that scalability meaning is that uh, we can easily scale up or scale down the system based upon the requirements 
if we need uh, like if if we are having more uh, requests coming up from the clients we need we we can is we should be able to increase our uh, nodes accordingly right so it is horizontally scalable third thing is it's fault tolerant that um, fault tolerance means it's a robust in nature it can survive some kind of failure if any of the worker node dies it can restart from there right so like will not be losing any data third uh, second last point is guaranteed data processing like apache fling it also like gives you the exactly once processing semantic like every data in that data set will be um, processed exactly once right and last it is programming language agnostic means like uh, although it has been uh, written in jvm but still like you can it can be used with any programming language so it's not programming specific as of hadoop like hadoop is like programming specific framework like we need to uh, like work with java but here it's not the case i hope uh, the first video like um, uh, you must have understood the points that uh, i, I want to convey in it it was just an introductory video uh, which just summarizes that why why there's a need of apache framework apache strom framework and what are its features i hope you must have understood like uh, see you in next video